everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be doing a short version of the American Eagle Denim Fits video I did um, a while back. It was around back to school season. I did an entire video on kind of like in depth, kind of like a denim or jean guide for the back to school season. Like um, basically like American Eagle jeans, how all of them fit, what are the different styles, all that kind of stuff. And you guys really liked it. And so I thought I would do a shorts one. And I know it's like a little bit early in the short season. Like for me, I won't be wearing shorts for like probably another month or two, but I figured since spring break is coming up, the stores are starting to sell shorts, customers are starting to buy shorts, that it was a good time to do this video. So for those of you who don't know, I do work at American Eagle. That's why I'm able to do this video. I worked there for four or five years, so I have a lot of product knowledge on shorts, how they fit, I've tried most of them all on, I know about the fabrications, all that kind of stuff, so I'm just going to be educating you guys on, on all the different short styles we have this year, all the different ones, how they fit. Um, hopefully this will be helpful as you guys go into the summer season buying shorts so you kind of have a little bit of a guide. So that's what this video is going to be. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna be starting off with, I've got like a little list here, with the shorties. So all the shorter shorts and then I'll kind of get into the longer ones and I'm gonna start with more of like the high rise fits. Okay, I just yawned so if my eyes look watery, that's why. The shorties are going to be the shorter shorts, obviously. So not all the shorts that American Eagle carries are gonna be like super short booty shorts. We do have some longer ones. So if you like the longer ones, you might wanna skip to maybe the middle part of this video because majority of the shorts we have are gonna be pretty short, but we do have some longer options as well. So all of the shorties, first of all, are gonna be a stretchy denim fabrication. All of our jeans pretty much are gonna be pretty stretchy and they have lycra in them, which is what's in swimsuits, so it causes it to like stretch out and expand, but also hold its shape. So we've got lots of different denim fabrications, which I'm not really gonna get into because for me, I don't really notice a big difference between the different fabrications. I really don't. And I think most people like are going to either want stretchy or non-stretchy and not all these different versions of stretchy. I'm not going to get into all that. If you guys would like a separate video, I could do that. But I don't really feel like it's necessary. But most of them are going to be the next level denim, which is our newest fabrication, which is going to be softer and stretchier than our normal jeans. But personally, I think it feels about the same, to be honest. But just saying. They're going to be tight and like a stretchy fabric. And basically, if you cut off a pair of jeans, basically as well, the shorties are going to be like like a pair of jeggings, like pretty tight. So um, tight and short, kind of like a thinner, stretchier fabric. Um, so first of all, is the super high rise shorty is going to have a pretty high rise. Obviously, it's going to hit like kind of right at or above your belly button, kind of depending on your torso, and it's going to be like the highest. Well, it's not actually the highest rise, but of all the shorties, it's going to be the highest rise. And it is about, so compared to just the regular shorty, which is just going to be like a normal like low rise kind of at your hips, it's going to be about two inches higher than those. So pretty high waisted, but that's why I like them. They're going to hit that smallest part of your waist and make your waist look really small. And they're great for crop tops and everything like that. So that's why the super high rise are my favorite. And they're going to be the same like... All of the shorties, I'm pretty sure, it looks like, are going to be about the same in seam, pretty much. They're all going to be just as short as one another. Um, so those are the super high rise. The next one we have are the high rise shorty, um, which is going to be exactly one inch lower than the super high rise. So still high rise. Um, so the high rise, the regular high rise, is going to be one inch higher than the low rise and one inch lower than this super high rise. So the high rise shorty, for me, is going to hit, like... When I first put them on, maybe at my belly button, but probably kind of below my belly button. Probably like an inch to a half inch below my belly button. Yeah, the high rise for me is almost more of a mid to high rise because when I think of a high rise, I think of like the super high rise, how it kind of hits like at that smallest part of your waist. So the high rise shorty is definitely kind of like a mid to high. However, it is our most popular fit. The next one would be the high rise festival shorty. These ones, okay, so we've got high rise vintage or we've got a high rise festival shorty and then a vintage high rise festival shorty. So honestly, between the vintage and the non vintage festival shorty, I was really trying to look and see what the difference is because typically the ones we have in store are the vintage high rise festival is the ones that we've carried in store the last couple years. So I'm not really sure what the regular high rise festival shorty is like what makes it different from the vintage one because um, my store doesn't have either of those two yet so I haven't actually compared them in real life but it looks like both of them are going to be a non-stretch denim so like a traditional like 
it's not going to stretch when you move it, just like a traditional jean, whereas the other shorties that I mentioned previously are going to have some stretch. So both the Vintage Festival and the regular Festival shorty are not going to have any stretch at all whatsoever. They're going to be a traditional denim. And it looks like they both have um, a pretty high rise. They're going to be the... They're gonna be like a fourth of an inch lower than the super high rise, but about the same as the super high rise as far as like where they hit on your waist. Um, they're gonna have the same inseam as the other shorts. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure what makes them different. I think it might just be like the look of them. Like the vintage seem to just look kind of like, um, you know, like you bought a pair of jeans at the thrift store and you cut them off. Like literally like they do kind of have like a vintage look. Like most of them are going to be frayed and ripped up and like I said, no stretch. I think the non-vintage, just like the regular festival shorty, um, kind of like they're just going to look like a, maybe a more modern festival style. I'm not entirely sure because looking on the website, they really did look the same to me. And like I said, my store isn't carrying them or hasn't gotten them in yet this year. So I haven't gotten to compare them in real life. So that is what I know about them right now. The festival shorties, the thing that makes them different from the regular shorties, the regular shorties are going to be just straight cut at the bottom and the festivals are going to cut up. So they're going to be like longer towards the inside part of your leg and on like the outside part of your hips are going to it's going to cut up like a little bit higher, if you know what I mean. So instead of being flat, it's going to be kind of like diagonal. So that's how the festival shorties fit. I have some vintage high-rise festivals from years past. So that's what I'm going to be trying on in the try-on portion of this. Because um, the inseams and the rises and everything about that is going to be the same. It's just going to be like the design, like the color, and the placement of the reps might be slightly different. But other than that, I know that they're probably going to be about the same fit. Okay, next up is going to be just the regular shorty. So this is going to be just a normal low rise somebody that comes in that wants shorty shorts and they don't want them to be high rise or anything like that so they're going to be stretchy like the other ones i mentioned so the rise like where they hit you on your waist is going to be two inches lower than where they hit on the super high rise and one inch lower than where they hit on the regular high rise so they're going to hit just kind of like right at your hips right at your waist just like a normal non-high rise jean would and they are going to be stretchy i can't remember if i already said that and it looks like they actually have a slightly slightly shorter inseam possibly but um but they'll still be about the same we actually don't have a lot of shorties in the store for me yet this year i think we only have three styles whereas in years past we usually get like like for example the high rise shorties i think we have at least maybe 10 of them if not more so to only have three of the shorties is like pretty weird because those are kind of like the oh the ogs <laughs> Next up is going to be the super low shorty. So it's going to be just like the one I mentioned before, but it's actually going to be an entire inch lower than the low rise, the regular low rise shorty. So it's going to be three inches lower than like the super high rise, two inches lower than the high rise, and one inch lower than the regular. So um, I am not a fan of super low. I mean, probably because I love the super high. So it's clearly the opposite. I don't know. For me, I just like the high rise. Even if I'm not even wearing a crop top, I just like the high rise better. I'm not really a fan of the super low rise. I mean, seriously, like if you even just sit down, I feel like they're going to be like, you know, super low in the back. Like you're going to have to pull them up when you sit down. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I had like a really flat stomach, I would like the low rise. But for me, I just kind of like the high rise. So the super low rise is definitely not my favorite. Like literally, I think of all the bottoms that we have in the entire store, I think the super low rise would be my last pick of something to wear. So I personally don't like them, but I do have a lot of customers that come in and they, you know, they don't really like the low rise. They say they fit like a little too high. They want them to hit a little bit lower. They think it, it hits in a more comfortable spot for some people. So to each their own, you put them on and you feel like you need to pull them up higher, but you can't. Next up is the Tom Girl Shorty. So again, it's going to be um, same inseam as all the other shorties I've mentioned previously, pretty short. This is going to be about the exact same rise or like where it hits on your waist as the super high rise shorty. So they're going to be pretty high waisted. Um, I actually try these on and they seem to not hit quite as high as the high, like the super high rise for me, like I said, hit right at my waist. And these seem to be and they say on the website they're supposed to be kind of worn low on the hip. So even though they're technically like measurement wise the same, about the same rise as the super high rise shorty, because they're like a looser non-stretch fabric, they're supposed to be kind of relaxed. They're supposed to kind of hang lower on the hips. So even though they are the same rise, they kind of just fit like looser and baggier and they're not supposed to be like tight on your waist. They're kind of supposed to hang down a little bit. The Tom Girl Shorty has no stretch. It's a traditional fit it's actually really similar to the vintage high rise festivals like it did seem to kind of cut up a little bit on the sides next up is the mom shorts and i have had a couple
couple of these. These are as of right now, I think, online only because my, my store doesn't carry them at least, but there might be some higher volume stores that do carry them. Um, so the mom short is going to have no stretch, just like the mom jeans. Um, it's going to be very high-waisted. It's actually going to be an entire inch higher than the super high-rise shorty. So because I like the high-rise, I definitely want to try these on. I love the mom jeans. I wish I would have known more about the mom jeans whenever I did my denim fits video. Um, but I love the mom jeans because they hit really high up on your waist, just like a vintage pair of Levi's or like an old kind of like vintage jean would hit like really high up. And they're like a thick traditional kind of denim. You know what? Actually, they're traditional denim in the sense they don't have stretch, but they're really not that thick. They're almost like a, a really soft, cottony kind of feeling denim without stretch. Um, but yeah, their mom shorts are going to be higher than even the super high rise. And they're going to be about the same inseam as all the other shorties. So I think the mom short look really cute. Like the ones I've had returned, they seem really cute. Those are going to be all of these short shorts which is what most people most people seem to come to the store, especially for summer, and want really short shorts is what most people ask for. And these shorts are really short. Like, they really are. Like, usually, and I don't remember, I feel like I've said this in a video before, but the high-rise shorties were the ones, that, like, like I said, they're the most popular, so I definitely have a lot of those. And most of them are going to be cuffed at the bottom, so what I would do, I would always uncuff them once, and it made it, like, a perfect length. Like, they weren't long, but they weren't as short as they normally are because literally, like, my butt, and then they ended like there was they were really short so if I rolled them down just like once from where they're already rolled it was like perfect it was like a really good like they're still short but they're not completely booty shorts and, and they fit everybody differently like obviously depending on your legs and your butt they're gonna fit you differently on somebody that's taller and skinnier they might not seem as short as somebody who definitely has like a bigger butt and might be a little bit curvier they're gonna fit a little bit shorter so those are all the shorties next up is the midi short which the midi is actually really popular it's gonna be a mid length not even a mid length like a short to mid length just a tiny bit longer than the other ones um these are really popular, especially like at my work, like at my store. I don't know if this goes for all American Eagle stores, but we have to wear the middies to work, which sometimes, like I said, I'll take the high rise shorties and I'll just roll them down because when you roll them down, they're going to be really similar to the midi in length, but I like that high rise and the middies are all low rise. Um, but the midi shorts are really popular with all my coworkers and a lot of our customers. These are kind of what I tell people the school appropriate short is the midi. Like you're still going to have shorts, but if you put your arms down, they're still going to follow the finger rule and all that kind of stuff. So they are going to be the same rise as just the plain shorties, the just regular low rise, not super low, not high, not super high, just the regular regular um low rise they're going to be about an inch and a half to two inches longer than the shorties and like i said most of the middies will come cuffed as well so you can roll them down and make them even longer and make them like a true like mid-length so the middies are really popular because people can wear them to work they can wear them to school you know a lot of moms like them everybody likes the midi like i i don't think there's anybody really that doesn't like the midi so it's just kind of like a good universal pair um i wish we had middies and high rise because personally like i said i really like the high rise but middies unfortunately only come in low rise next up is the bermudas Ooh. Bermudas are actually kind of making a comeback because when I was younger, those were always the shorts I had to buy to go to church camp and everybody hated them and I only wore them the one week and I never wore them ever again after that. And they were always like not cool. But now I see people like on YouTube having like the cut off Bermudas and they're like popular now. So we do have some cute Bermudas this year since they're kind of like somewhat popular now. First one is a Tom Girl Bermuda, which we have one of these in a dark wash and it's like super shredded up, which are the ones that I feel like people would actually buy. <laughs> like the ones that I could actually see people wearing. So the Tom Girl Bermudas are going to be four and a half inches. I think this is in inches. I wrote it the numbers down, but I don't know if this is actually inches but inches or centimeters one or the other um they're gonna be four and a half inches longer than the midi which is gonna be about six inches longer than the shorties and i'll type centimeters if it's centimeters i think it's inches but like i said they're gonna be pretty long they're gonna hit like above your knee because they're a loose and relaxed fit they're supposed to kind of hang low and be kind of baggy so that's the tom girl bermuda it's gonna be a loose and more relaxed fit the skinny bermuda is next and that's the one that you're gonna think of when you think of a bermuda like you know, skin tight down to like above your knee and just really tight is like a normal Bermuda fit. So that's the skinny Bermuda. And it's going to be same as the Tom Girl Bermuda, just like a quarter of an inch longer, I think. Um, so yeah, it'll hit just like right above the knee. But basically, most of the Bermudas are going to be online, except for the two destroyed Bermudas that we carry in store. Next up is the Slouchy Bermuda, which is going to be a looser fit, kind of like the Tom Girl, but even looser. 
and it actually has a pretty high rise like it's um just between the high rise shorty and the super high rise shorty um but like i said it's slouchy so it's supposed to be loose and it's gonna like not be like a tight like high rise like at your waist fall a little bit lower in your hips because it is a looser fit and this one is actually going to be about two inches shorter than the other Bermuda. So it's going to be kind of like a mid length, like between a midi and a Bermuda, kind of um, a few inches above your knee. So so that's good for somebody that doesn't want to wear shorty shorts. Midis are still a little bit too short, but they don't want a Bermuda. The Saatchi Bermuda is kind of like a good in-between, and it's a loose fit. Those are pretty much all of the shorts, and um, sorry for the few of these that are going to be online only that I can't show um, in the try-on part of this. Like, I know this is supposed to be really helpful, and you want to see what they look like on, but some of these are online exclusives. The majority of them I'm going to be able to try on for you. So that way you can still kind of get an idea of what they look like. It just won't be on me trying them on. But just to recap, super high rise are my personal favorite. High rise shorties are everybody else's personal favorite. They're the most popular. Um, the vintage high rise festival and the um, non-vintage, just regular festival shorty, are both really popular as well. They're going to be a good, um, you know, just a good fit. Shorties are a good traditional pair for somebody who doesn't like the high rise. Um, Mom shorts are going to be good if you like the really high rise fit like I do. Um, midi shorts are going to be your good school appropriate, work appropriate, but still trendy shorts. And then we've got all the Bermudas. So hopefully this video was helpful and everything you guys wanted it to be. Um, let me know what your guys' plans are for spring break because this was kind of like a pre-spring break video. So hopefully it's getting warm where you're at. It's getting a little bit. We're kind of out of the deep freeze where I live, so it's getting a little bit. We're kind of defrosting. It's still a little chilly, but you know, it, we're getting there. Make sure to follow me on social media. Check out my previous video as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!